Alright, how's it going guys? Will has a 2k, back again, it's been a couple of days. Um, anyway, um, so round 5 has just concluded and I would like to do my round 5 review. Um, lots of games played this week, lots of good games played this week, a couple thrashings, um, including the dogs getting up against the Roos, really good win for us. And yeah, I'll just be um, going through all the games and what I thought about them and my, if I, how many tips I got right. All right. So first game of the night of the week was um, Carlton and St Kilda, and St Kilda um, easily beat the Blues. Even though it said eighteen points, um, they kind of let the foot off the um, accelerator at the end of the um, last quarter of the Saints, letting Carlton get a couple of easy goals. But um, Carlton were pretty disappointing. They didn't play the brand of footy they've been they've been playing the last couple of weeks. Um, they let St Kilda play better than them in the first half, and they played catch up footy. And that's what Carlton do a lot. And it's just not working. So they need to play four quarters of footy, I reckon. Um, yeah, but St Kilda were just really, really good. I thought they played extremely well. But some positive about Carlton. Paddy Cripps did get in the game in the second half. But again, if he played a four-quarter game, it could have helped and lifted Carlton. But he unfortunately didn't. And the Blues lost by 18. Alright, so Friday night. The Bombers and the Pies. And... As soon as the siren went, Collingwood were on. They were had three goals in about seven minutes, and I was um, tipping them to win by a, at least ten goals. Like, they were on fire, hitting targets, not missing anything. And then just like that, Essendon got a goal without the flow, and they dominated the rest of the game. They dominated to the, half, um, to the last quarter. Collingwood did come back and reduced the uh, margin to three points at one stage, and I was out of my um, seat. I was live streaming, so if the people in here um, that saw me live streaming, I was out of my chair because Collingwood were coming back. But um, the Bombers ha held on, and that was because they played such a great second and third quarter, and they were just way too good. They were just too good for Collingwood. Um, Collingwood needed to do did exactly what Carlton did. To be honest, it was a bit of a game like Carlton and St Kilda. But um, yeah, great win for the I mean the Bombers. Okay, so the next game, Saturday afternoon, was the Swans and the Eagles. And finally, after a couple very bad weeks for the Eagles, they did get a win. All their stars played well, and they just looked a lot more hungry around the ball. And it was a really, really um, great performance from the Eagles. I'm pretty impressed with their performance. It's back to the Eagles of old, to be honest. And with Sydney, they have been poor the last couple of weeks. They um, played pretty poor against the Bulldogs. They were just not on. And I thought, you never know, they could give West Coast a bit of a showing. But, um, yeah, they were poor again, and West Coast um, made the most of that and played very well, and I think the Eagles are back to their um, 2019 form. All right, so 4.35, we had the Suns and the Cats on a Saturday um, twilight game, and it was a very, very um, good game, to be honest. Um, uh, Geelong blew, out the blew them out in the end, um, 37 points, I think it was, but... Yeah, Gold Coast with Geelong most of the time. Um, unfortunate for Matt Rowe, the rising star. He's been playing exceptionally well. Hurt himself, and I don't know how long he's going to be out for, but I'm um, very unfortunate for that. But um, the Suns, like I said, were in the contest for most of the game. They were playing very well, and I'm um, look that uh, the Suns look a very good football side. But Geelong just were too um, good in the end. Kicked away and ended up getting the win by 37 points. Congratulations to Gary Ablett and Joel Sowood as well for playing. I think it was... 300 and 250, I think it was, something like that. Wait, no. I can't remember. 350 and 300, I think it was. But uh, 350 for Ablett, 300 for Selwood. But yeah, um, Geelong had a pretty big win in the end. Okay, so next we had the Dogs and the Roos. And the Dogs were really, really strong and amazing. We we had lots of players out. Um, Dunkley. Um, who else? Uh, Norton. Lloyd, but coming in was Easton Wood, and he was an absolute star, so was English, so was um, Bruce, the recruit full of dogs, um, he hasn't been playing the best, but this game was one of the games to get him going for the year, he kicked six goals, um, got a couple lucky free kicks I reckon, but yeah, he played very well, and the dogs were just amazing, that's the best I've seen us play this year, even we, even though we won them two games against the Swans and the Giants, that's the best game I've seen us play this year, um, North were just flat, that's one way to put it, they were not good at all. Um, I was a bit surprised, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a lot closer because um, they're on the same level as us, I reckon. But we showed them a thing or two about footy. So next we got 
Port and Brisbane, and I didn't really see this game because I was um, watching the Dogs game with the Roos. Um, but I did watch the highlights, and Brisbane obliterated Port. Um, and people in the comments are saying, Port, um, finally back to them all selves. And I don't think it really is, because Brisbane are a quality side, and it was at the Gabba, and Port are really inaccurate. If Port kicked them goals early on, they would have had a massive chance and been more in the game, but they were horrible in front of goals and wasted their, oppor wasted their opportunities and that cost them the game, I reckon. Brisbane was amazing, they um, had a run on in the second quarter, I think it was, or first I don't. I didn't even watch the game, so I can't really tell you much about this game, but Brisbane were too good. Port Adelaide a bit flat, hopefully they can back it up next week, the power. So next we got the Crows and the Dockers, and I didn't really get to see this one either. But the Dockers got a convincing win in the end by 20 points. I was listening to the last 10 minutes of it, and it was sounded like it was getting a bit close. Um, but, yeah, very low scoring. But Frio is too good. Michael Walters was not to be seen in the first half, but the second half... This is what the um, commentator said. Um, second half, he took on the screamer. I saw that mark. That was a very good mark. And um, ended up getting 13 touches. So even without five, the um, Dockers were way too strong for the Crows. Crows have got a lot of problems because that was at home as well, apparently. So, a lot of problems for the Crows. So, next we got the um, Tigers and the Ds. It was at the MCG, and Tigers did dominate most of the game and were in front most of the game. But Melbourne, in the last quarter, they came back firing, and it was an unbelievable contest to watch. Um, it wasn't the best skill, skills at all, to be fair. But um, they were going in everywhere, um... Melbourne were in the game. It was 16 points, I think it was. Fuck, Richmond ends up kicking away in the end. But, yeah, um, Melbourne, again, a bit like Carlton, weren't, didn't play four quarters, and it cost them because they let Richmond get way ahead of them in the second and third quarter, and it was just, yeah, it wasn't great footy then. But um, Richmond, back to their self, I reckon. They weren't 100% at their best, but they looked a lot better than they um, had against St Kilda and the Hawks. So another game I didn't get to see, but um, the Giants and the Hawks, and the Giants convincingly beat the Hawks. Um, I was a bit surprised about this one because Hawks have been playing so well into this game. I think it's just because they're pretty inconsistent, um, coming from a Dogs fan. But anyway, um, yeah, Giants were too strong. I think Himmelberg kicked four, uh, Cameron kicked a couple, Finlayson kicked a couple. Um, Gunston was good for Hawks, apparently. I looked at the stats. Um, I think Kelly had 28. And yeah, the Giants were just too strong in the end. Um, they're going to be a very good team again this year. A massive force, but we still beat them. Anyway, anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Really appreciate the support, guys.